Hey guys, so welcome back to VT Reactions. Uh, I'm sorry for the last video which had a very bad audio. So today we are going to have a little bit different type of video. When you see a cute baby with those bouncy cheeks and a small puppy or a kitten with those round round eyes don't you just want to go oh today we are going to talk about cute animals cute babies and whatnot so let's get started okay so whenever you see a picture of a cute animal and you are filled with this emotion all you can do is just grit your teeth and clench your fists and you know you uh, you just want to go and squeeze them even though you have no intention of hurting them but you just have that oh i just just wish i can just you know squeeze those cheeks and you know that sort of a thing and yeah you should not worry about that it's whatever you are experiencing is pretty normal so that is what is called cute aggression or even playful aggression even though if we start to think about it it might really seem weird but it's normal and this video is mostly cute 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 stuff so i warn you <laughs> so uh, look at those eyes look at those cheeks and you and if it comes to a pet those ears those ah uh, so you just want to go and squish them don't you so the compulsion to squeeze squish pinch eat crush and even bite cute things without any actual desire to inflict or cause a harm is a, what is known as cute aggression and also it's not pretty a uh, new thing to actually show both positive and negative emotion at the same time it's pretty common you know whenever you are happy you tend to cry and whenever you are laughing very hard and you just get tears and whenever you're shouting at someone or they make suddenly a funny face and you just burst out laughing so yeah it's pretty common to actually show up positive and negative emotions together so showing these two together is what is known as dimorphous expression some people actually experience it more than others so cute aggression is also the type of uh, dimorphous expression that's when your external actions or expressions do not match what you're feeling on the inside the expression involves nurturing with playful squishing pinching and sometimes maybe even biting uh, there has been a few research on this what actually seeing like what is the function of cute aggression uh, researchers have suggested that cute aggression was a dimorphous expression of emotion which will typically arise when we become overwhelmed with emotion puppies babies look at that furry ball just playing with a ball so just can't handle that so that is being overwhelmed with emotion so therefore it is a type of emotional regulation a biologically driven balancing act 
acute aggression kicks in when positive emotions are running so high that it felt unchecked they could become physiologically damaging like going and pinching them trying to eat them mm. but why do some of us act this way and some of us don't so typically things we find cute have a set of characteristics called kinder schema or you can call it as baby schema this includes rounded cheeks big eyes and a large forehead and a small chin and a small nose when we see something which has these characteristics we have an urge to behave in the same way we would do with the babies we just want to protect it care for it and just be close and you know invite them so this aggression actually doesn't mean that you want to actually hurt them or something dimorphous expression towards the baby can actually be helpful because it teaches the babies to recognize the difference between playful aggression and a true aggression this is actually an important skill to learn as playful aggression will make frequent appearances throughout the lives yeah so that's about it for now